Now, Aberdeen City Council say they're actively considering whether to go to court over the listed building status of five tower blocks. The flats were granted special protection due to their unique architecture. But it's a move which has received cross-party criticism, as Brandon Cook reports. It's been a running saga for two years, but now the fate of Aberdeen's brutalist high-rises has been decided. Residents at blocks, including here at Seamount Court, now live in a building on par with some of Scotland's most loved landmarks. It doesn't look the part. It's not screaming, we are listed. It's just a building that's being patched together. Andrew has lived in the building for a decade. He says it faces constant challenges, but fears listing it may be the biggest yet. As I was surprised it was even put forward to be A-listed. I mean, uh, Crathers Castle's A-listed, Seamount Court. Most of the buildings in Aberdeen have been modernised, but the ones that are A-listed haven't been modernised. So it's a bit of a, a worry what's going to happen with the modernisation programme, because as far as I know, it's it's gone. At the block next door, Chris has similar concerns. So I would suggest that most ALS buildings have got some kind of historical value. These are pretty much an eyesore. Um, they've not been kept well. Um, the outsides don't look good. The insides are even worse. There's quite a lot of people scared to come in and out of the buildings. Once they're in their door, the door's shut and that's it. Historic Environment Scotland say these concrete giants help tell the tale of Aberdeen's post-war social housing. But the city's former leader, who was in charge when the appeals process first started, says it's rather a tale of higher costs. Because it adds an extra layer of bureaucracy, there's going to be increased costs, not just for the council that owns much of the houses, but there's going to be increased costs also for um, you know, owner-occupiers. A year-long appeal reduced the number of blocks protected from eight to five. Historic Environment Scotland said they accept the decision and deny the listed status will result in higher costs. Throughout the process, we've been very keen to ensure that the listing shouldn't get in the way of everyday improvements, repairs and maintenance. But reassurance is no compensation for a council who feel let down by higher powers and are considering going to court. Officers are now um, looking at the decision that has been made to see if we would have a case to take this to the court of session. I actually think that Scottish ministers should have stepped in and I would have hoped that they would have not signed this off. They would have actually sided with the people of Aberdeen and allowed us as a council to determine how we deal with these buildings moving forward. For now, residents like Andrew and Chris are learning to live with their building status. But they, like many others, wonder if this debate has yet more floors to climb. Brandon Cook, STV News.